Should I keep my backpack on? Um, yeah, you're good. What did you like best about the defense's performance that you guys did just about everything well? What, what did you like best? Um, what did I like best? Um, I like the fact that you know we almost had a shutout, and obviously giving that one up hurt. But there's like so many positives that uh, it, it just felt good to get a W after we've lost like four in a row. So. And the fourth downs were pretty key. I think you, they only and that was great too. Yeah. Like I said, there's so many takeaways that you know for me to list every positive. I mean, we can sit here for, for hours, but uh, but just fourth and short. How difficult is that to, to stop? That? For our defense, we kind of pride ourselves on that you know that sense of physicality, and um, I mean it's always tricky because it's basically you know their offensive line. You kind of know what they're going to do. They're going to run the ball versus your you know basically defensive line. It's you know some linebackers and just who can stop who. And so it gets prime. came out on top. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, Chase, how are you going to keep up this defensive like predominance like throughout the games uh, for the rest of the season? It just comes natural. It's not something you know that we really have to think about. We prepare, the, you know, during the week the way we do. This week, you know, preparation was very, uh, very serious, and we were, you know, we were very like locked in, and we knew uh, we wanted to get that bad taste out of our mouth. And Coach Harwell brought this up after in the locker room, basically saying how. Uh, how, you know, maybe that's how we have to move forth every week, kind of, you know, keep the what's happened to us in, in the back of our minds and, and just keep working. Chase, right. after the Notre Dame loss, you said the offense is a little different than the defense to where it, it takes time for offense to gel, the schematics and all that. Did you see that uh, level of improvement from them today? What do you think about I'm that? I'm not going to comment on uh, Western Michigan's, you know, defense. I, I, don't, I don't really know uh, if, if they're – Will be a you know a comparable uh, level you know to other elite offenses in the country, but at the end of the day, uh, you, you know you put up put up numbers. It's a great sign, and I felt like they were really meshing and, and really gelling from the starters down to the backups. So it it kind of gave a display of some depth too. Chase, we saw we saw a few guys today on defense yourself, but I mean Brandon, Brandon Watson again with a big game. Noah Noah Furbush. Can you just kind of describe what? You know what, what you saw from those guys today. Yeah, I mean, there's so many guys that had great games today, uh, just across the board. Uh, rising tide raises all ships. It once again, comes uh, comes out. It just it's the truth. And uh, you see guys that are you know playing with a lot of energy and out there just trying to make plays. And that's what we were able to do this week. Where I think last week we kind of were were lacking on that. They took I know at halftime they took three shots, and uh, all those shots were were denied. And we were able to adjust and, and just keep playing. And Devin Bush made some big impact plays for you, didn't he? Yeah, Devin Bush made some great impact plays. Like everybody, at least you know, at one point in time, had kind of come up and and uh, did their part to make sure you know those drives were ended. And the starters didn't give up any points. Um, obviously, as a, you know, as a defense, we gave up three. But uh, how much motivation was it to see how many points they had scored in the previous week against an ACC team? Right. I mean, it's it's encouraging, but like our defense is held to such a high standard. You know, we don't like Syracuse is a great football team. We just don't hold ourselves to that standard. We we hold ourselves to to right here. So anything less than that, yeah. And that's just the way we're we're, we're taught. We're probably going to go back and and um, you know s look at all the flaws. We, we, you know, it's like you know you kind of gloss over like the good stuff and you just break down what what needs to be improved and go and try to do that in practice. So quite a bit of Aiden Hutchinson. What's enabled him to get on the field so early? I mean, have you seen him? The dude, somebody <laughs> tweeted, a, you know, like a picture of him, and it was, he's like, he's a behemoth. Uh, he's just, and he's a, he's a good football player, smart kid. And uh, he, I, I knew from the, the jump that I was like, this kid's going to be a contributor sooner rather than later. And he's getting his chance, and he's making the most of it. And he's, he's bad in the roof through some injury, too. Um, you know, I'm not going to comment on that in detail. That's, I'll leave that up to him. But um, he, I don't even think he's at his, you know, his prime, his, his peak uh, in terms of this season. So, Chase, you've been here uh, a while, seeing several quarterbacks um, play while you're here. I'm wondering if you can put into context the way Shea played today, some of the throws he was making, sort of the grand scheme things. You know, I wouldn't say uh, it's like it's tough to comment because we, we've had, you know, Jake. Rudock here, um, and like there's problems that are, are beyond it, the scope of a quarterback. Uh, but in terms of how our offense efficiently played and, and how Shea looked, I'd say it's as, as good as any quarterback I've seen here. 
uh, personally, and, and it was like weird just being on the sideline and have, like them just scoring touchdowns here. But, you know, I remember I think Josh, you know, Metellus, Metellus. Uh, was, <laughs> I still don't know how to say it, it, but I just covered both, so uh, he's probably going to rip me for that one. Um, yeah, anyways, I just remember him sitting there and looking, and he's like, man, this is nice. <laughs> and uh, I, I think the feeling is mutual from my half. So. Is it, what does that do for a defense when your offense is out there? It just lets us go do a job. Yeah. You know, it's just like, for I mean, across the board, like the coaches are calling plays that they think will work, not being scared of giving up a touchdown, which could end, you know, basically lose this game. And, and defensive players, it's the same thing. Like, we're going out there, and we're just, we're just having fun. We're, we're just playing football. Um, you know, we're not worried about, uh, you know, oh, what if I do this? What if I mess up? And it, it you know, kind of takes that weight and, mm -hmm. and tosses it to the side that uh, you might have. And, uh, and and because they have drives of some length, you actually have time to make adjustments and catch them. Right. Right. And that's that's another thing that it, uh, further down the road, I think it'll be more important than any. Uh, I don't think there is as many adjustments yeah, today. That, that you know that needed to be made. Otherwise, we might lose. You know, it wasn't yeah, I know like, you, it I wasn't know like you that said. pressing um, at any point, but um, it definitely does help, and it will help us down the road. Uh, Western put up over 600 yards of offense last weekend. What do you see on film from them last weekend that you guys were able to counter today? I just, you know, this is my personal opinion. I thought they're uh, pretty predictable in the stuff they did. Um, I mean, their offense. I think going into the game, I mean, I'd have to go back and watch, but uh, I, I felt like they came in and they basically said, whatever happens, we're just going to try to not, not give up uh, any sacks. Uh, a lot of max protection, a lot of chipping on both sides. Uh, I mean, that's just that's a way to play football. It just, I, you know, obviously you see the results. I think we have like 200 some yards of offense. And, uh, so, I mean, I, I, I just think, like, yeah, they were. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stop myself. There. They're so, a great football team. They're going to do well on the Mac. <laughs> All right, guys, one or two more questions. Uh, you mentioned how Coach Harbaugh came into the locker room after the game and sort of said maybe that's how we're going to have to approach every week. What was sort of that, that mindset that you guys had this these past seven days? I mean, it was kind of interesting because I, I didn't think it was – you know, our mindset was was like radically different because we already lost four games in a row. So like, we've been in that mind, you know, that mindset in a sense. It wasn't like all of a sudden, but I, I just think like the expectation we have for ourselves, and then meeting, you know, something else with the loss in our name. Um, I don't know. It was, it was a little different this time, and we knew we had to get it out, and we knew this was the week to get that bad taste out of our mouth. And yeah, we're just moving on to SMU now. Just to give you a sense of relief seeing